This is the Music History Today podcast for July 7th. On today's show, Live Earth Happens, The King of Pop Gets a Public Goodbye, and Terrorism Takes Away a Calypso Artist. First up, though, on this date in 1943, Broadway singer Hannah Williams divorced boxer Jack Dempsey. In 1950, Johnny Cash joined the United States Air Force. While he was enlisted, he became one of the soldiers who intercepted and deciphered a Soviet military message that said that Joseph Stalin had passed away. In 1956, 12 people were injured during a riot at a Fats Domino concert in San Jose, California. In 1956, same day, Johnny Cash performed at the Grand Ole Opry for the first time. In 1957, the Coasters started their week of shows at the Apollo Theater in Harlem, New York. In 1965, Otis Redding recorded the song Respect. In 1968, the Yardbirds played together for the last time and then broke up. In 1972, the Jackson 5 started their tour. Their opening act was a group who got their big break with this opening slot, the Commodores. In 1975, David Gilmour of Pink Floyd married model Ginger Hassenbean. In 1980, Led Zeppelin played their last concert with John Bonham on drums. In 1984, Frankie Valli of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons married his wife Randy Clohessy. In 1986, Boy George entered rehab for treatment of heroin addiction. In 1992, Spinal Tap finished their reunion tour. In 1995, the Neville Brothers were among the performers at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. In 1997, Michael Jackson's album Thriller was certified to have sold 25 million copies in America. In 2001, Shannon Coor of the group The Coors married her husband Gavin Bonner. In 2005, terrorists struck four different targets in London, England, including the London Tube System, a.k.a. the subway in America. Included among the 52 people who died that day was Calypso artist Arthur Edlin Frederick, who was killed in one of those tube bombings. In 2007, the Live Earth charity concerts, which were 12 concerts on seven continents to call action to climate change, took place. In 2009, Michael Jackson's public funeral was held and televised in Los Angeles, California. In 2018, The Cure held their 40th anniversary concert. In 2022, a bitter paid $1.7 million for the only copy of a special recording of a Bob Dylan record. Dylan had done a new recording for his song Blowing in the Wind, which was pressed on a new format called Ionic Original, which uses aluminum instead of vinyl, but you can still play it like it's a vinyl record. In classical music, in 1956, the opera Ballad of Baby Doe premiered. In 1988, Hungary held a state funeral for composer Bela Bartok, whose body had been brought back to Budapest from New York City. Bartok had passed away in New York in 1945, and they finally moved his body back home. And in 1990, opera singers Placido Domingo, Luciano Pavarotti, and Jose Carreras recorded their first three tenors concert. The recording became the biggest selling classical album of all time. Albums that were released on July 7th include in 1969 when Cream released Best of Cream. In 1970, The Stooges released Funhouse and Benny King released Rough Edges. In 1972, Jimmy Cliff released the soundtrack to The Harder They Come. In 1973, Barry Manilow released Barry Manilow 1. In 1974, Elvis Presley released Elvis as recorded live on stage in Memphis. In 1977, yes, July 7th, 1977, 7 Seven seventy-seven. There you go. Styx released their seventh album, The Grand Illusion, which ended up being a big hit. So I guess all that seven stuff actually worked out in their favor. Also in 1977, even though it wasn't their seventh album, Yes released Going for the One. In 1979, Golden Earring released No Promises, No Debts. In 1984, David Sylvain released Brilliant Trees. 
1986, Steve Winwood released his big album, Back in the High Life. Also on that same day, David Lee Roth released his popular album, Eat em and Smile. In 1987, Eric B. and Rakim released their classic, Paid in Full. Also on that same day, Laura Branigan released Touch, Hoodoo Gurus released Mars Needs Guitars, Katie Lang released Angel with a Lariat, Los Lobos released By the Light of the Moon, and Dwight Yoakam released Hillbilly Deluxe, which was also a popular album. In 1988, Iggy Pop released Instinct. In 1991, Robert Fripp released Show of Hands, and Frank Zappa released Beat the Boots. In 1992, Kansas released Live at the Whiskey, and Dream Theater released Images and Words. In 1997, the Dropkick Murphys released Boys on the Docks, and Against All Authority released their self-titled album. In 1998, Bare Naked Ladies released Stunt. In 2005, Ringo Starr released Choose Love. In 2006, Jeff Beck released Live at B.B. King's Blues Club and Grill. In 2008, Ringo Starr released Ringo Starr and his All-Star Band Live 2006. And in 2009, Berlin released All the Way In. Singles that were released on July 7th include in 1962 when Jerry Lee Lewis released Sweet Little Sixteen. In 1968, Simon and Garfunkel released Fakin' It. In 1969, John Lennon and Yoko Ono released Give Peace a Chance. In 1982, Janet Jackson released Young Love. And in 1995, Alanis Morissette released her breakthrough song, You Oughta Know. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 7th include drummer Ringo Starr, which would explain why he released all of those albums. Classical composer Gustav Mahler, EDM producer and DJ, DJ Alesso. Jazz guitarist Tiny Grimes, singer Mary Ford of Les Paul and Mary Ford, Tonight Show band leader Doc Severinsen, Rhino Reinhardt of Iron Butterfly, Clive Jackson of Doctor and the Medics, Perry Richardson of Firehouse, singer Vonda Shepard, rapper Cassidy, Sinister Gates of Avenged Sevenfold, Dan Whitesides of The Used, D. Woods of Danity Kane, Singer Casey Brown, Mark White of the Spin Doctors, David Hodo of the Village People, Jim Rodford of Argent, Warren Entner of the Grassroots, singer Michael Henderson, singer Tommy D, composer Giancarlo Minotti, Ashton Irwin of Five Seconds of Summer, singer Seven Streeter, singer Cody Lee, singer and actress Chris Summer, gospel singer Tasha Cobbs, Singer Tyler Cole, recorder player Michaela Petri, country music singer Gabby Nolan, and singer Allie Brooke Hernandez of Fifth Harmony. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 7th include organist Michelangelo Rossi, who passed away in 1656 at somewhere around the age of 55. They're not quite sure of when he was born. Composer Giuseppe Caretti passed away in 1774 at the age of 83. Composer Pascal Boyer passed away in 1794 at the age of 51. Flute player Friedrich Dulan passed away in 1826 at the age of 56. Composer Nicola de Giosa passed away in 1885 at the age of 66. Composer Giovanni Bottasini passed away in 1889 at the age of 67. The Viscount of Arniero, composer Jose Viega, passed away in 1903 at the age of 64. Composer James McCranahan passed away in 1907 at the age of 67. 
Musician Bunk Johnson passed away in 1949 at the age of either 60 or 70. They don't know when Bunk was born either. Composer Franco Cassavola passed away in 1955 at the age of 63. Organist and Pulitzer Prize winning composer Leo Sowerby passed away in 1968 at the age of 73. Opera singer Gladys Swarthout passed away from heart issues in 1969 at the age of 68. George Harrison's mother, Louise Harrison, passed away in 1970 at the age of 59. Composer Vito Frazzi passed away in 1975 at the age of 86. Composer and conductor Tibor Fresso passed away in 1987 at the age of 68. Singer Kazuza passed away in 1990 at the age of 32. Mia Zapata of the Gits was murdered in 1993 at the age of 27. Singer-songwriter Fred Neal passed away from cancer in 2001 at the age of 65. Conductor Israq Graziani passed away in 2003 at the age of 79. Singer Al Dowling of Big Al and the Chartbusters passed away in 2005 at the age of 65. Singer-songwriter and guitarist Sid Barrett of Pink Floyd passed away from cancer in 2006 at the age of 60. Record label executive with Decca Records, Ha Mendel, passed away in 2008 at the age of 88. Violinist Yosef Souk passed away from cancer in 2011 at the age of 81. Lyricist and author Rukasuki Ii passed away in 2016 at the age of 83. Pianist and also conductor of the Norwegian National Opera and Ballet from 1981 to 1996. Egil Mon Iverson passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Composer Paul Fettler passed away in 2018 at the age of 98. And entertainer Adam Wade, who was also the first black game show host when he hosted the show Musical Chairs in 1975, passed away in 2022 at the age of 87. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 8th, when in 1981, the Go-Go's debuted. 